Hey everyone, I've got another food hack for you. This is whipped chocolate. So let me show you how I made this one. Whipped chocolate is just plain old chocolate that's been melted and uh, pumped up with nitrous oxide and then cooled while it still has the nitrous oxide dissolved in it. So when it cools and hardens it has a, uh, a bubble structure uh, frozen into it. So why would we use nitrous oxide instead of CO2 or argon or any other gas? Uh, the reason is that nitrous oxide, which comes in these great little whippet cartridges here, uh, is very soluble in fats. So argon and CO2 and all those don't really dissolve that well in, in fat, but nitrous oxide does. And since chocolate is mostly uh, fat, oil, um, it, it does best here. I started by melting about 200 grams of uh, Toll House morsels uh, along with some oil. I think I used about 25 grams of oil in uh, a stainless steel canister and the canister is part of like a commercial a commercial whipped cream dispenser it looks like this and after the uh, chocolate had melted inside there I charged it up with two cartridges not just one because that's how I roll uh, at first, while I was uh, working on this, I did a little bit of math to figure out um, what the pressure was going to be inside there. So I wanted to get a rough idea of what the pressure inside the uh, whipped cream vessel would be, uh, depending how many of these little cartridges I used on it. So I started off by measuring the full cartridge and then discharged it into the mixing chamber and then weighed it again and it looked like we had about 7.7 .7 grams of gas that came out of here. And we know the molecular mass of nitrous oxide is 44 grams per mole. So I used PV equals NRT and I, originally I wanted to find out what the pressure was inside one of these cartridges. So I went through the equation and came up with about 6,000 PSI, which is not correct. So at, at first blush you'd say, well that's not right because 6,000 PSI is an awful lot of pressure for a, a consumer product like this. And also, if you check what the vapor pressure of nitrous oxide is, it's actually quite a bit lower than 6,000. It's, it's only about 700 uh, PSI at room temperature. So what's happening, what this indicates, is that there's actually liquid nitrous oxide inside here. So it's true that there's 7.7 .7 grams of N2O in here, but it's not gas. Most of it's liquid, actually. So um, the volume of the, of the whipped cream dispensing chamber is about half a liter. So I did the formula again and came up with about 126 PSI. So when this little cartridge uh, discharges into the chamber here, you're left with about 126 PSI. And since I did it twice, there was probably about 250 in there. So after, the, after I had the pressure chamber full of the 250 PSI of nitrous, I shook it up as well as I could to make sure that the nitrous had dissolved into the chocolate and then dispensed the chocolate into a pre-chilled um, vacuum chamber. So this is actually part of my vacuum cold trap that I used in another experiment and I just put it in the freezer to chill for a while. Then I applied vacuum and what this does is it uh, increases the size of the bubbles and encourages a lot of the nitrous oxide to come out of uh, solution, out of the chocolate. So you end up with this very bubbly, very light uh, mixture. And we're trying to cool it down really quickly here so that the bubbles will be frozen. So you suck the air out so that the bubbles enlarge and then try to cool it down as quickly as possible to make sure that we keep that airy structure maintained in the chocolate. So after a while I, I very carefully let the air back into the chamber and then to demold it I used a blowtorch just to heat up the back side of the, of the metal um, container and then hit it with a, a hammer to knock all the chocolate out which actually worked pretty well. Alright, so let's give one of these a try. It's really very good. It's much lighter than standard chocolate because of all the... I guess there's still nitrous in there, although I have a feeling most of the gas will dissipate and it's just going to become air as it sits around. Alright, see you next time. Bye.